How's it going, Jeremiahs? These Yamaha PSR E-Series keyboards, as well as the Casio CTX and CTK keyboard, although they are great beginner keyboards, they don't come with a very good piano sample voice. And if you're looking for a good piano voice that you can use to play along with, and that's what I usually use with uh, my beginner keyboards, my entry-level keyboards, and I want a good solid piano voice, I usually head over to my piano sample library. And one of those that I use very often is the one by Sound Magic, and that is the Cinema Grand Collection. Let me let you have a listen to how it sounds like. So you can hear the sound quality is excellent. This is actually the Blue Grand, so this Sound Magic Neo Piano. Cinema Grand series comes with two pianos. One of it is the Steinway, which is what you just heard. And the other one is the German Bluefner Grand Piano, which is a little bit more mellower sound. Let's have a look at what you can do with this sample library. And really all you need to do to get this sound, this fantastic sound to play along with, is just a little printer cable. I'll leave a link in the description below. Just a printer cable to your computer or your laptop and you get these sounds here. Do you want to learn to play the keyboard with chords like this? I have a proven step-by-step -step course designed for Yamaha, Casio, and Cork keyboards that will help you to do that. At the end of this course, I will teach you everything you need to know to just open up a music book and start playing your favorite tunes with lush accompaniment rhythms with minimal effort. I will teach you to read music, play chords, and use the different sounds and rhythms on your keyboard. Check out the links in the description below for more information. Let's look at the interface. Over the interface, you get a reverb section here, and you can turn it on and off. This is without the reverb. So you can hear that it's a very dry sound if you turn on the reverb. And there are many presets you can change with the reverb. You can have your large hall. You can also have your chamber, smaller places. So you get a whole combination of uh, different reverbs as well. And if you don't like the presets in here, you can also change your own parameters, you know, the reverb time, the decay time, how wide the stereo is, uh, how much of the dry and wet reverb mix is in there, and as well as the reflection surface, how smooth it is, as well as uh, how smooth is the reverb gonna be, and the ER, which is the early reflection of the reverb. What I also really like are these noises here, which gives a level of uh, realism to it. So these pedal noises, for example, if I step on my pedal, have a listen, you can hear that thumping sound. You might have to turn up your volume to hear this. And I also have string sounds as well as the hammer off sounds which I can change accordingly. Over here I've got damping control as well. So you can change the amount of dampening that takes place to your heart's content. And over here I've got string resonance, sympathetic string resonance which you can turn on and off. Let's have a listen with it off. And if you turn it on, when you hold it down and you play other notes, 
you can hear the harmonics being created by that sympathetic resonance. And once you have done all of that, you can also save it into a preset here with all your changes so that you can come back to it and everything that you have already tweaked is ready to be used. So on this panel, you can also have quick settings here. They already have a couple of preset styles of uh, where the sound is configured. And you can have a jazz style if you want. Or you can have a softer style. And if you're playing oriental music or Chinese music, you can also have various different tuning system that you can uh, assign to it. And over here, what I also like are the different touch sensitive curve. If you don't like a linear touch sensitive curve, you can actually change to various different touch sensitive curves as well and also alter the dynamics as well as the uh, tracking of the dynamics across the keyboard. And on this side, I like the fact that there are harmonics that you can configure. So if you want a lot of harmonics ringing, you can turn up the gain. And how much that harmonics shift. You can hear the woody sound. You can also configure how wide or how high you want the lid to be, the lid of the piano, as well as whether you want to emphasize the low frequencies or the high frequencies over here. And on this side, we have various microphone levels. Do you want the microphone that is located near to the player when they recorded it to be louder? Or do you want the microphone that's located near the audiences to be louder and more prominent? You can adjust it to your heart's content. So let's have a listen to the concert grand again. Let's have a listen to the other instrument, the other piano that comes with this package here. So that was the Steinway. Right now, we are going to have a listen to the Bluffner. So the Bluffner is a slightly more mellow sound. And then you can configure it to whichever way you like it. Applying different reverbs. To get the sound you want. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this little presentation how you can use an external sample library to enhance and equip your entry-level Yamaha PSR or your Casio keyboard with a much, much better piano voice. If you're interested to have a look at these sample libraries and you want to pick it up yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. My name is Jeremy C and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.